16. That was a great win by the Rams, who really did, um, you know, the Rams, they really, really needed that win yesterday. The Rams were struggling to me the last few weeks because they just did not know what to do. You know, they just were very, very stagnant because, you know, Matt Stafford was out for a few weeks and he still hurt. And, you know, you still you had guys that were just very, you know, in and out of the lineup. And yesterday was a great team effort from them yesterday. You know, Matt Stafford wasn't great. 17 to 31, 190 yards, QBR 70.6, a touchdown, an interception, and he was sacked. But, you know, they got good effort from uh, Royce Freeman in the running game, who had 17 uh, carries for 73 yards. And then Puka had a very good game as well, two five catches for 70 yards. He was able to make up the slack for Cooper Cup, who was out, who only had one catch yesterday for 11 yards. And then he was pretty much done for the game with an ankle issue. And then, you know, you had uh, Henderson, who was huge. Um, in the run, passing game and in and, and well he would could have been better in the running game but he was huge in the passing game getting four catches yesterday all kind of in the uh, red zone area as well too and you know what they just were able to do something very significant in that game they knocked out Geno Smith uh, mid second half and found a way to go ahead and come back in that game the Rams were down 16 to 7 and then scored 11 unanswered points to go ahead and win but let's keep it real. The Seahawks were very close to winning this game yesterday. They had a final kick, but they missed that kick uh, fairly short, and that was able to enable the Rams to win this game. It wasn't as if the Rams dominated and found a way and all that good stuff. The Rams just pretty much got lucky yesterday. But in the NFL, there's no such thing as luck. It's either you make the kick or you miss the kick. It's one or the other. And the Rams yesterday pretty much went ahead and did their part they scored the points they needed to score and they took care of their business and won the game. Now Seattle's looking up. They're six and four right now. They're still good in the playoffs. They're just not in first place anymore uh, when it comes to the division, but they're still in the playoff race and they still are the top. Um, they still are right there in the thick of things, even though the Cowboys are the top wild card team. Seattle is a wild card team that does have breathing room just like minnesota has breathing room because everybody on the outside looking in for a playoff spot in the uh nfc are four and six right now you got four teams that are in that position four and six so you know what when you look at this four and six group you say to yourself who's the team that has the best opportunity to make the playoffs you will probably say either atlanta or tampa bay because they're in a wide open division now Green Bay and the Rams, they're kind of in a in a in a in a bad position right now when you look at it. They really do need teams to lose and for them to keep winning games. So it is what it is at the end of the day, but it looks pretty good still for Seattle. No need to panic, but you don't need to start slacking either. So um, we move forward and let's go ahead and jump into our final game before we take our commercial break. And that's gonna be the Broncos in. Sunday night football game in grand fashion with a touchdown on the final drive to beat the Vikings. So pretty much um, they needed that final drive uh, to beat the Vikings because the Vikings were good yesterday. Um, the Vikings held the lead the whole game pretty much. They jumped out, scored themselves a touchdown to start the game off. Then they held that lead until the final minute of the game. And that was a 